So we're here today to see the house for an art lover. It's situated in the Bella Houston Park. As we walk up towards the house for an art lover, we came upon a sculpture known as Elephant for Glasgow. This was created by Kenny Hunter and is a life-sized elephant cast, in part from recycled redundant or scrap parts of locomotives sourced in India that were originally built in Glasgow. The sculpture was installed in summer 2015 on the site of the famous 1938 British Empire exhibition in Bella Houston Park. The site of the House of an Art Lover was actually the site of another mansion in the 18th century, the Ibrox Hill House. And the remnants of this house is the portico and entrance as you enter the grounds of the House of an Art Lover. The other fantastic sculptures you will notice as you approach the House of an Art Lover is the foot and arch by Ganesh Gohain, who was an Indian sculptor during an artistic residency in the city of Glasgow. This two-piece structure was installed in 2005 and displays a foot. The sculpture also shows a footprint. The House for an Art Lover has a fascinating history from its creative design team, Charles Rennie McIntosh and his new wife Margaret MacDonald. It also includes a group of people including artists, engineers and designers, recognising his vision and translating it into the beautiful structure that is present today. In December 1900, Alexander Koch, the interior artefacts manufacturer and publisher for the German magazine for interior decoration, announced a competition. The Macintoshes knew about this competition while visiting Vienna. A total of 38 entries were received. Two were rejected immediately and from the remaining 36, the jury selected 16 which met the conditions. However, the Macintoshes were not amongst these entries. They had failed to submit the three interior perspectives required and their entry was disqualified on the grounds of these technical breaches of the rules. <laughs> 